All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we are playing some Mordekaiser in the mid lane, and we are running Conquer, Triumph, Tenacity, Cut the Grass, Shield Bash, and Revitalize. We're going to go uh, buffed Mord, pretty much, because Demonic got buffed, and then also there's Cosmic Drive, which gives us, like, a phase rush, so we shouldn't get kited as hard by enemies. So I'm thinking my build's going to be a, a Rift Maker, Demonic, Cosmic. And then a Rylize. Basically, we'll have a ton of health items, ton of free stat damage on them too. And we're Mordekaiser. We could one v one anybody. We're running a Conquer over the new Lethal Tempo because we can't really auto attack a Kali that much. She goes invisible, so I think Conquer will be better. It stacks up as we just stand next to her. I could even get the the demonic first into Rift. I'm not sure. I think the burn will be very good, but Rift is very good too. But we just need to scale. We are super strong early though. Because anybody fighting in this ring just loses. And I have Doran shield, she does too, so we'll regen. It's Pantheon jungle with Glacial, so he's gonna... It's gonna be really deadly when I get ganked, because I'm gonna have to just fight and not run, because I'll be so slow. She's going to take it. She should take it. It does a lot of damage. I think that's her strongest damaging spell unless they nerfed it again. Oh, this is going to be big. I think I kill her here. Okay, no, I don't. Yeah, she's dead. Oh, canceled my auto with a flash. Okay, that's fine. Where's Panth? Let me use my potion. I might be able to actually kill Panth. I need to push this wave, though. We don't have that much uh, attack speed. I didn't want to flash for that Akali either, though. I don't think it would have killed her. Even though she didn't die, she lost a lot out of that, though. Let's get... Let's do boots and a refill. There's just so many items I want to build. I want the Rylize. I want the Demonic. I want the Cosmic. I want all of them. Horizon Focus even works on us if we get the Rylize. So that's 10% extra more damage, too. Oh, and I forgot to say, the, the Demonic gives us AP based on how much health we have, and we're going to be building a lot of health items. The thing is, Mord doesn't really care about AP too much. A lot of his damage just comes from base damage and items. Cannon secured. Popper with a shield bash. All right, we're level five now. She's still four. Nice. This is a perfect fight. We hit our... Whoa, that was cool how it revealed her. It just hits so often that you can see where she is in the, the shroud. That's actually really cool. Ooh, that hit her and no other minions, so it did double damage. Almost double damage. Tried the first strike, Karthus and Aram, and is busted. Dude, I think first strike on Karthus is the only champ where it's actually, like, turbo busted. They might nerf the rune just because of Karthus, or they might nerf Karthus with the rune. But I don't think the rune is that OP. It's, like, only OP on Karthus, because you just get rewarded for pressing R, even if you don't kill people. So then Karthus gets full build at, like, 20 minutes. Well, we haven't been ganked by Pantheon. 
And now if he ganks me at level 6, I just kill him because it's a 1v1. Mordekaiser level 6 is so OP. If Akali wastes Shroud... Actually, I have an idea. If I use... If I ult her while the Shroud is already active, I think it rips her out of it, and then there's no Shroud in the, the realm. Could be wrong, though. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Because, like, it doesn't take Heimer turrets and all that stuff with you, like Voidlings. But the cool thing is, I can just push as much as I want. If Pantheon ganks me, I press R on him and I 1v1 him because it's a Glacial Augment Pantheon. You get T-Pose? Pay to win skin. <laughs> the thing is, how do we alter while she's in the Shroud is the thing, you know? I think it'll cancel the cast time because she'll just pop back invisible. Oh, she ulted, right? Isn't that that ring around her? Oh yeah, she did. Okay, and I didn't even really take any damage. Can't really kill her, so I'm just focusing on the minions. Do one. Go farm your minions. Pantheon's right here. I mean, I'm just free to keep sitting in lane and pushing. Nothing's going to stop me. Or Mordekaiser. Uh, I wasn't even ready for that, but he missed anyway. No. Wait. No. <laughs> I almost played that really well. I fucking took two turret shots, so I got stunned under tower. But look, that was... I almost turned that. I did turn that. He just flashed under turret. But I had boots and a door and shield there. Just wait till I get items. Holy cow. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just going to buy... I think that's better than buying the Leeching Lear. This gives me way more AP. It gives me 60. Oh, yeah, yeah. Leeching Lear is not even that good of an item until you actually have other items. Because we can't use that Omni Vamp until we do damage. Oh! I got it! Holy shit! Alright, we're zero one, one but I still am way stronger than Akali because I have way more farm than her. And we're Mordekaiser. But yeah, the, the Shield Bash and the Revitalize made me turn that so hard with my W. The Pantheon wasn't able to do anything. The turret did everything. You're going Rift Maker too. I don't know what's going on down here. I don't think it's going to be that good for us. Wow. Wait, I delete this guy. Don't delete her though. No, I don't think I hit Pantheon with the Q. Oh my god. What is going on? No, I got CC locked. Wait a second! Oh my god, that was so close to a double kill. I don't know what happened to my W there. I think I wasted it. Wow. I was, I was actually healing. The Conqueror was healing me there. I thought I was just dead. And I lived with like one health. 
So close. Wow, that's crazy. These are some good fights. Oh, I don't even know what just happened there. Uh, boots, boots, boots. I'm going to hold off on boots for now and just save up for Rift. Sork shoes are good. Uh, armor boots would be pretty good, too. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to need defensive boots. No, I don't think the Omni Vamp, like the Leeching Leer, would have saved me there because I had a lot better stats with the items I bought. I just didn't have Omni Vamp, but Conquer just heals us more than that 5% anyway. I think if I used my W better that fight, I would have been able to kill all three. Uh, lag. I go by Leeching Leer. Okay, we have Mythic. We got the 10% or 9% true damage. What's going on over here? You guys need to get out. Holly's gonna kill you. I can peel them because Akali's going to dash in and chase them, and I'm just going to press R on one of them. You can turn. And I'm just going to take this guy. He might have flash. I should win this. I missed that, yikes. My passive is still ticking on them, though. Oh! There we go, finally. Yeah, <laughs> Mord loves just standing in the middle of the whole enemy team because I just heal and I'm dealing so much damage with my passive. Oh, that didn't hit. Well, I feel really, really strong. I'm still full health. I don't know where any of them are, though. It could be. Prize ganking. Okay. What should we go next? I feel like demonic. Sork shoes demonic is going to give us so much damage. Get the health. Health is more valuable on Mord than um, AP. Always get the health parts first. Just... It's because, look, Q scales... I mean, the Q scales are really well if you hit them solo. I guess it has a 100% ratio. But that's about it. E has 60%. This scales with HP, and this doesn't even scale. Passive scales with 30 40%. I guess it's decent. They've been buffing it. But still. It's better to survive longer, get more burn off of your passive. Got Herald top side. Anth didn't want none of that. Bitter. He doesn't hurt me. Oh my god. Here comes the squad. Oh, he looks bad. I don't know, my internet's been potato today. I, it's not even bad. I'm just hard stuck 60 ping when normally I'm like 30 and I, I just, I can't figure out why that's what's tilting me. 60 ping is completely playable. I just hide it so then I don't even notice. If you can't see it, it's it do, it's not there, right? Not happening. That, that. Um, I'm, I think I need to go bot. Because Caitlyn's not going to be able to hold them off. And I'm pretty slow. I don't even really get to abuse Yumi as more, do I? Because when I ult, she's gonna pop off and die. Oh, oh, 
no, they both flashed. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I didn't want to flash for them. Good thing I didn't, because they would have just flashed. This might be a tough game to win just because I'm so darn slow at getting around the map. If they just avoid me... Alright, I have R on him, so all I have to do is click him. Wait a second, how is this guy beating me? Okay, I missed a Q there, but ouch, he hurt. He's 1 in 3, what the fuck? That guy almost killed me. Not really, I popped W and I was turbo strong. Or drink or pant, that's really good for me. Anybody who's building health and doesn't deal a lot of burst damage, I'll just out sustain in a fight. Blitz doesn't have flash. Bonk. Kali. Oh, he's dead. Camp doesn't have flash either. Bonk. Yeah, anybody we catch 1v1 like that just is done. Oh, they're pulled on me. I'm dealing a ton of burn damage. For the road. Oh, if I knew he had that, I wouldn't have done that. And we're still full health. Poor Caitlyn, they're only going for her. She's the only one they can kill though. I'm I'm so hard to kill. I deal so much damage and I take forever to die. And then also we have a, a Malphite doing well too, so they can't kill Malphite easy. This guy is cringe bow. Diego still dies pretty quick though, as long as he's not transforming into enemies. Even a Shadow Flame is good on Ward because that's more magic pen. We don't really need that much more, though, because we have the Sork Shoes. We get Magic Pen on our E. Unless they're really stacking MR, which they're not yet. Um, let's see. Let's do the Cosmic. Let's try new Cosmic. Wait, I want the, the Haste. Thanks for the 8 months jacket. Cosmic will be nice for the, the Phase Rush. And then we get Rylize on top of that. Nobody should get away from me. I could just walk into all of them. It's just if I flash in and press R on somebody, I think Yumi just auto dies. I just don't want to get hooked under turret. Because they could CC me before. I'm going to try and just tank this as long as I can before I ult. I really don't know what's going on. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, I played that really well. God, Aphelios with the flash Q. I was scared his cringe bow was gonna block the damage. But with Mord, you can Q and then flash afterwards, and they can't really tell it's coming until it's too late. Oh, Volibear is clearing bot. Holy cow. I thought he had a Herald. He gets objective bounty. I'm gonna try and hit this turret a few times. Right, that's good enough damage for me. Let's get out of here. Okay, enemy team has objective bounties. Oh, I have my phase rush in item form. What's Revitalize been doing? 800 bonus healings, 800 bonus shielding. That's really nice. Shield Bash has done 547 damage. And it's been giving me resistances and stuff. Okay, so now I'm even faster. I wish I could see how much my passive has done. Because my passive was just melting him there with Rift Maker. I was dealing true damage.
I have a 600 damage Q if I hit a solo target. The thing with Mord, though, is he's not very good at ending games. He's great at winning fights, but his siege is terrible. He's not that good at killing turrets. And he's not that good at sieging if they're all just sitting there defending, because I just have to ult somebody and fight, kind of. You protect mid turret, they'll get objective bounty. But they're just gonna try and kill Kate again. She lives! He's alive. Alright, I'm just gonna walk up to Aphelios and press R. I think they saw me though. Maybe Yumi can hit slow. If Blitzcrank cooks me, he kills Aphelios. Come on, Yumi. I believe in you, Yumi. I'm actually faster than him. Oh, I left my Yumi though. Oh my gosh. Deleted. My Yumi! What have you done, Blitz? Oh, I was almost out healing. He's still at R, though. Yumi ran the other way, unfortunately. Okay, Volibear actually is really good at 1v1. -ing. Oh, he has healing reduction? And Triforce, okay. Yeah, Hullbreaker Mord actually sounds pretty good, too. I just, I might go a more damage route. I don't know. Actually, if I go Hullbreaker, then I can just split. I'll actually be good at killing turrets, too. Good ult. Oh, she still has ult dash. Uh, I think he's dead. She just keeps slowing him. I think our win con is uh, Dragon Soul. Because we're, we're really bad at sieging. It's just hard with our comp. So we went off soul, and that way we get turbo slow if we hit them. That way nobody gets away from me. Can he block my ult with his shield thing? I mean, we could just do Baron now, too. What are they going to do? Stop me? Are we missing Malphite, who has teleport? So we're not even missing him. I should melt this. I have Demonic. I should tank it, too. Viego takes a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. We're melting this. They don't even know, either. I'll get hooked, if anything. Oh, I thought he stole it for a second. Nice. Bluebear's getting uh, the... Objective bounty mid. How much gold did he give his team? Oh, only 250. I could see her. I could see you. Oh, I killed her. <laughs> see? That did so much damage. She was like half health there, and the, the burn just kills her. Okay, Mord kind of counters her, because I can see her in the... The cloak, or whatever it is. The shroud. I don't think I can build Hullbreaker with Yumi, though. I tried it one game. I had a Yumi attached to me, and the, I wasn't getting the Hullbreaker passive, so they either changed it or something. Okay, you guys don't win this. Sorry to tell you this, but you don't win this. Okay, maybe they win this. I lied. They don't win this. I'm out healing their damage. Holy shit! I don't think I win this. No! I lost my Yumi. I played that bad though, I took like three turret shots. Wow, I almost got a fucking Penta. Oh, did I get Yumi killed when I ulted? Is that what I did? Holy shit, 4,000 gold? I don't know if we need the Rylai's, because I'm going to get the, the Hextech soul. I feel like I could get away with going Deathcap or... Let me see what they're building. USS. How much is Rift on? 2800 bonus damage. Spirit? I don't want to get Spirit. They're going to build Healing Reduction. They already have a bit of it. I kind of want to build a Deathcap. 
Now nah, we'll get tanky. An ally has been slain. I think I'm gonna go Shadow Flame last item though. Your team has destroyed a turret. Shadow Flame or Horizon? I'm gonna try Horizon actually. We can always switch up our stuff. I could go like Death Cap Hourglass too. But I want to try Horizon with the Rylai's and the, the Hextech Soul. Because I'm going to be dealing 10% extra damage. I thought I screwed up when I ulted that Aphelios because I was like one health. But then my W comes up and I'm just the full. Yes, hook me. Okay, Rylai's felt really good there. <laughs> Just a 1v3 god champ. Mordekaiser's busted. I'm surprised he didn't stun me there. Oh shit. Forgot about that. Oh, I queued wrong. Demonic stomp it. I might as well just take everything. Just so much damage. Let's see. I mean, they don't have that much magic damage. The Akali does a lot of damage. The spirit would be nice for the extra shield. But I think I think this build is good to go. I want to see how much the horizon adds to our build. How much is Demonic done? 2,800? It only gives us 33 extra AP, but better than nothing. Okay, I'm pretty much unkillable now. I think I can just stand in the whole team. I have 3,500 health and almost 500 AP. Souls in a minute. Hopefully I don't die here without taking anybody with me, but I think it's like near impossible for me to die without taking them with me. I should have just ulted. I'm tapping it. I'm tapping it. Oh, the plant even disappears too. Oh no, I have no way to hit her. Okay, this is bad. Well, I died without taking anybody with me. Fucking hourglass? Okay, maybe they'll get distracted. Oh, I'm gonna be up in time for dragon. Okay, that's fine. Uh, is he a flash? He might be out. No, he's dead. Oh, he's ults up. Oh my god. Go, Malphite. Oh, Pantheon got all. Oh, he took the teleporter. Ah. All right, prep drag, prep drag. What do I need? Do I get the tenacity potion? Nah, let's get AP. I got like chain CC'd when they killed me. Okay, that guy died so fast. Just running at them, pressing R. There we go. As soon as I can just pop my passive like this, they run away. Oh, he's dead. Okay, finally. I thought he was going to get away there. Ooh. Okay, dragon. They're gonna steal it. I feel it coming. Oh my god. She almost went for it. What the heck? She just got zapped. Alright, we got the soul.
How much damage does it do? I don't think it... Oh, it deals 72 damage. It actually deals damage, though. Nice. All right, we got the soul. They at theft. It is GG. We're so powerful mid-game. Late game, Mord kind of falls off when people could actually 1v1 him, but that was kind of a 1v5 where it died at the end. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you have not. And leave a comment below. Let me know what builder champ you want to see next. Let's see our damage. 24 kills. 51k damage. Wow, we had a lot more damage. See our true damage dealt. 5k. Here's our rune stats. Conquer healed us 1800. That is very high. Mord used his Conquer the best. Cut the grass 1600. Shield Bash did 1200 damage. Revitalize gave us almost a 4k bonus healing and shield. Alright, see you guys tomorrow. Peace.